So let me get this right. You were going to kill a dog because nobody wanted to pay your price. Now think about that. So this is Noelle. Noelle is a double white merle, which means that that's very bad breeding. She was um, born deaf. Uh, a lot of times they're born deaf and blind. Noelle was uh, listed over in Central Florida for a very large price tag, almost $10,000. And of course, no one bought, purchased Noelle for $10,000, and they figured that something wasn't quite right. So the uh, shop owner came back and told the breeder, I think there's something wrong with her. So the breeder came in and said, oh, well, I'll mark her down to $5,000. Well, at $5,000, Noelle as a puppy still wasn't acting like all the other puppies. So the shop owner said, you know, I'm not selling this, this rare Sheltie, so I think you just need to come and get her. So the breeder told the shop owner, well, I'm just gonna kill her. Well, that really upset the shop owner and it upset a couple of people in the store. So they took Noelle and then they called Sheltie Rescue. And so now you have a puppy that's totally deaf, that's been living for about four or five months in a little crate with no training. So Sheltie Rescue, of course, reached out immediately with a picture of Noelle that here's the deaf Sheltie, young deaf Sheltie. She took your heart when you look at those beautiful eyes. So I contacted Sheltie Rescue and said, Mid-Florida Sheltie Rescue and said, you know, I think we can handle Noelle. So we brought Noelle home, and from the moment we brought her home, she just captures your heart. So we took Noelle, and I brought her to work with me at Tales of the Barkery every day, and I leashed her to me. So everywhere I was going, she was going with me. What this did was taught Noelle to look at me, to check in with me. And the first few days, I'll be honest, it was like I felt a mother with a newborn baby. Uh, I was always worried about her. Where is she? She's not under my feet. Uh, scared to death. So with a deaf dog, because she can't hear me, she reads my face, she reads my facial expression, so I always have to remember to have a facial expression that she recognizes. If I'm confused, she's confused. Uh, she does follow her sister Karina and her two other siblings uh, in the family at home as well. Noelle has a great story. She knows she's a herding breed, so she likes to herd. I have a $30,000 yard project, as we call it, to prove it. She, we live on a golf course, so Noelle really herds the golfers all the time. She's one of the fastest running dogs for Shelties with AKC and what we call Fast Cat. She runs a 100 yard dash in less than uh, seven and a half seconds. So her nickname for that is White Lightning. We also call Noelle Happy Paws because Noelle is always happy. She does not realize she has a disability. She misses nothing and she is my life. So for anyone that says, Noelle is blessed to have me. We all say, no, we're the ones blessed to have Noelle. So this is our sweet girl, Noelle, and her sweet story. Then we also have her sister, Karina. Karina is a tri-black. Karina's breeder here also in Florida, because Karina was not perfectly marked, threw her literally out in the backyard as a puppy with no human intervention. So with no human intervention, you can only imagine the thunderstorms, the weather, the night, the, the distancing and very, very hard for Karina. Sheltie Rescue was finally able to get Karina after she was uh, almost nine months old. Very high spirited is what the terms used for Sheltie Rescue. We drove over across the state to Tampa on New Year's Eve to pick up Miss Karina. And when we picked up Karina, she jumped into the car, she came right into our lives. And Karina has seven AKC titles uh, she does rally beautifully. She has her good canine, uh, two trick titles. Karina is a very intelligent Sheltie. Uh, she knows Noelle's name. We say, we talk to Noelle just like we talk to the others. So when I say, Karina, where's your sister? She will go and find her for me. And uh, they bonded beautifully together. Uh, Shelties are beautiful breeds. 
and they're a herding breed and they're a working breed. So my girls always have a job. And as you can see in this interview, they're looking and they're looking at everyone around them because they're trying to herd them up. Do you feel this helps uh, dogs in general with like depression, dogs that suffer from anxiety? Oh, absolutely. What you're going to see with Karina, because she is a reactive dog. So what we've done here is we have worked with her from the moment she gets in the, out of the kennel with, with uh, Stanley. She will be watching him and focused on him. Once he releases her, she follows him through this course and she's so focused that she's not paying attention to what's on her outer bounds and that is very hard for her to do, so we're very proud of her when she's able to do it. But uh, she is a very sensitive Sheltie and she's a very reactive Sheltie, which is not uncommon. So we have to uh, work harder on her paying attention. She's come a very long way from her first class.